Hello guys, this is Adip. Welcome to my channel Movement Science, where I simplify biomechanics with Joe. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also check me out on Instagram, where I post pictures of my notes, and the reference time for all the topics that I'm going to cover will be mentioned down in the description. So check that out, and let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about the lever system. We will understand the first, second and third class levers and then I will give you examples of lever system in our body, right? So let's start with the topic. First to understand lever system, we need to understand what is torque, okay? And what are the components of lever system? So let's start with that. So to understand lever, first we need a lever that is a rigid body, okay? Then we need a fixed point that is the fulcrum around which this body moves and then we need forces, right? So see, I apply a force to this body in this direction, okay? Like this and this is my fixed point. How will this body move? Like this, right? If the point is fixed over here, this is how the body is going to move. Now what we need to understand is this formula, the basic formula that is torque equals force into moment arm now force we all know how much magnitude of force that is applied okay and the moment arm this is slightly the tricky part it is always perpendicular distance from the fulcrum okay now fulcrum is over here correct and what would be the perpendicular distance from the fulcrum it would be this right because it's making a 90 degree over here correct so if you see if i had taken the distance from here like this where the force is being applied it wasn't making a 90 degree but this line of force i just tracked it and i saw that over here it's making 90 degree and that distance is your moment arm okay so torque equals your force into your moment arm that is the perpendicular distance from your fulcrum to the force okay so that is your moment arm so now that we have understood this basic concept of moment arm okay now let's go and apply this concept in the lever system so there are three classes of lever first second and third and the way to remember which one is which is a simple mnemonic that is free so you can stay tension free by using this mnemonic okay so f r e in f that is the fulcrum is in the center the first class okay i have written over here no first second and third in first class liver system fulcrum is the center in second class liver system r that is the resistance arm is in the center okay and in the third class liver system the effort arm over here effort arm is in the center now what is this resistance arm and effort arm i'll explain you guys soon but that's the whole point okay so starting with the first class liver system your effort arm can be less than greater than or equal to resistance arm okay now this effort arm and resistance arm are nothing but your moment arm that i just explained so if we take the example over here this is your rigid body okay and fulcrum is in the center right so this is like a seesaw you can imagine correct and the forces are acting over here and over here now over here you can see effort arm that is basically a one moment arm that is working over here in this direction and the resistance arm is another so in first class lever system your effort arm can be less than equal to or greater than your resistance arm you can see effort arm is over here and the resistance arm is over here so distance from the fulcrum to the resistance arm is this much and distance from fulcrum to effort arm is this much so it can be it can vary because fulcrum is in the center right so it's basically like a seesaw the point of fulcrum can move here or there and that way your resistance arm and effort arm can change it can be less than greater than or equal to but in second class liver system what happens your fulcrum will shift over here because secondary your resistance arm is in the middle correct so by logic if resistance arm is in the middle effort arm will be the longer one and resistance arm will be the shorter one correct so over here 
in second class lever system effort arm is always greater than your resistance arm okay and then third one that is the third class lever system third one e is in the center that is the effort arm is in the center so effort arm will be short and resistance arm will be big now how do we know which one is resistance arm and which one is effort arm so for that you need to remember this one thing effort arm always wins over the resistance arm that's why i have written resistance arm over here everywhere here here and here in red and effort arm in blue so resistance arm which always loses is in red okay so that's how you remember resistance arm always resists but it never wins but effort arm puts the effort and wins okay so these are the three lever system okay now to explain on a lever normal lever this is how it will look the fulcrum is, will be in the center this will be the resistance arm and this will be the effort arm okay over here fulcrum will be over here like this resistance arm will be pushing from here which will be closer to the fulcrum correct it will be small whereas effort arm will be pushing from here so it will be bigger correct and then final one the third class lever effort arm will be pushing from here so effort arm will be small and resistance arm will be big so even though resistance arm is bigger effort arm will still win over your resistance arm so now that we have understood the lever system in a normal lever let's see how they are seen in our body first taking an example of skull okay now skull if you see this is the fulcrum right around which your flexion and extension of your head happens okay if you consider this as your skull okay this is your eye nose and mouth okay your flexion and extension happens and this happens around a fulcrum over here that is your cervical spine mostly at the occiput okay there will be flexion and extension now we know that the weight of your head is more anteriorly right so gravity will be pulling your head anteriorly so that would be your resistance arm correct over here you can see the resistance arm the perpendicular force right see you can see this is the perpendicular force that is acting and this will be countered okay this resistance arm will be countered by the force of your effort arm at the effort arm that is basically your muscles pulling it back right all the trapezius muscles and all the extensors of your head right they will be pulling your head back so this will be your resistance arm and that will be your effort arm okay which will be winning always because you never walk like that right you always keep your head high up and walk or even uh, this way so over here you can see the fulcrum is in the center like this then there is a resistance arm which is pulling your body down and then there is effort arm which is pulling your head up so this is one example of your first class lever system another example is your supraspinatus acting at the shoulder joint so over here at the shoulder joint you can see this is the scapula and there is the humerus correct okay this is the head of the humerus and the humerus moves around an axis right and abduction is caused so when abduction is being caused the body <coughs> the gravity is pulling your humerus downward correct so if you take a perpendicular distance that would be something over here okay so if i have drawn over here like this and if i track the line behind this would be your perpendicular distance okay so that is your resistance arm okay so fulcrum is in the center here the gravity is acting and on top your supraspinatus act is acting so basically your humerus is like this the fulcrum is in the middle okay your supraspinatus is trying to cause abduction but your gravity is pulling down and trying to cause adduction so that's how the first class lever is seen at the shoulder joint i hope this is clear now let's move on to the second lever okay second class lever what happens your resistance arm is small and effort arm is big how do you remember that f r e e right r is in the center so if you take example of this i'll draw it in a simple way so this is your foot and this is your tibia okay this is your fulcrum over here okay around this the whole thing moves now 
द ग्रेविटी इज बेसिकली पुलिंग योर फुट डाउन करेक्ट एंड इफ आई टेक द पॉपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस सो दै विल बी योर रेजिस्टेंस आम ओके द ग्रेविटी विच लूज इज ओवर योर एफर्ट आम विच इज लॉन्गर राइट योर कैल्केनियम ओवर ह्योर यूर राइट द कैल्केनियम इज बींग पुल्ड बाय योर गैस्ट्रोनीमियस ओके एंड इफ आई ट्राई टू ड्रॉ इट बैक दिस वुड बी द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस करेक्ट so that would be your effort arm so again effort arm okay this blue line is longer than your red line correct so this is again a second class lever example because your resistance arm is smaller and effort arm is bigger correct and fulcrum is over here okay fulcrum is over here now another example is again brachioradialis working so this is your humerus okay and then your ulna and then if you see this will be your fulcrum around which the movement will be happening now the resistance arm will be your gravity working so this is the distance from the fulcrum to the perpendicular part okay and if you look at the brachioradialis okay break your radius is working in this direction so if you take a perpendicular distance it would be somewhere over here okay sorry about the diagram it's not really that good so it might look that the effort arm is shorter but it's not in reality okay so your effort arm will be over here okay and the resistance arm will be over here and basically your resistance arm will be shorter compared to your effort arm and again that's why there is it is an example of your second class lever system okay now going on to the third class lever system is example of biceps now this is a very classic example that we use a lot and i don't have area to draw over here so i'll take this paper and draw for you guys so there is your humerus okay there is the ulna okay and the biceps is working very close okay it's working very close over here so your effort arm can be seen over here like this so that's the perpendicular distance so effort arm is so small over here whereas the resistance arm is pretty big because the gravity the center of mass of this whole ulna will be somewhere over here so gravity will be working down over here and if i take a perpendicular distance it will be somewhere like this correct so again if you see effort arm is just from here to here right this much whereas resistance arm is this big so that's what effort arm comes in the middle correct if you remember over here f r e the third e comes in the middle right effort arm comes in the middle so that's an example of a third class lever system another example of it is quadriceps okay quadriceps working at the knee joint so that would be the last example your femur is there your tibia is there okay and this is your knee joint where the fulcrum is now your quadriceps is coming from top like this and pulling right and if you see the line of pull will be somewhat like this so this would be your effort arm right because quadriceps is winning when you are leg is going up quadriceps will be winning so effort arm will be over here but the one which is losing the gravity that will be pulling it down so if i check like this it would be somewhere over here i guess or somewhere here so basically your resistance arm will be greater than your effort arm okay but effort arm will be winning that's why it's a third lever system so it can vary again like if you are taking it up effort arm is winning but if you are going down resistance arm resistance will be winning correct the gravity will be winning so things will go around so i challenge you guys to try this out basically see where the fulcrum is see how the forces are acting where exactly the perpendicular line will come and more you experiment with this better you will keep getting at this concept right so now to summarize the topic what we need to understand is lever system is a system which works around a rigid body where you need a fulcrum and 
two forces to understand the effort arm and resistance arm. Effort, whenever you put effort, you always win. So that's effort arm, which wins against the resistance arm. That is mostly in our body, it's the gravity, okay? But if you are doing an eccentric movement where you are lowering your uh, foot, right? It will change. So in that scenario, your quadriceps will become the resistance arm and your gravity will become the effort arm and it will change which class lever it is okay if you guys want me to make another video on this i can definitely make you can let me know in the comments below so this is the first class second class and third class lever first class fulcrum is in the middle it's like a seesaw second class the resistance arm is in the middle okay over here as you can see resistance is smaller and the effort is bigger and then the third class your effort arm is in the middle and the resistance arm is outside right so to summarize basically you just need to remember this f r e okay and you need to understand which one wins effort always wins over resistance arm and the moment arm you have to take always a perpendicular distance okay not where the force is acting it has to be perpendicular to the line of action right so with that we finish off this topic that's all for today guys thank you for watching if you like my content please like share and subscribe to the channel it will really help me out and thank you for watching